Hello everyone, and welcome back to Braddock Forensics. I am Marco Martin. And I'm Isabella Lopez. Today we're stepping back from our usual experiments and science breakdowns for one very special reason. This episode comes with more emotional depth than usual. We are sharing our story. Braddock Forensic did not just appear overnight. It all started in the science building of G. Holmes Braddock. It was a one-year elective course for juniors and seniors. Somehow, freshman year Marco and Isa got ourselves into that class not knowing where it will lead us. And in that first year, we learned the basics of forensic science, how to analyze evidence at a crime scene, fingerprints, and much more. Stuff that you have already watched in our previous videos. But one year was not enough to satisfy our curiosity. That's why I advocated for a forensic science level two course here at Braddock. And in this course, we were able to dive deeper. I mean, we experimented with shoe and dental impressions, cleaned blood with luminol, and we were able to analyze blood spatter patterns. But classroom time was limited, and many students who wanted to join couldn't because of scheduling conflicts. That's when I decided to create the forensic science club. This club allowed for people like me with a very demanding academic life to still be able to participate in the activities and presentation without having to compromise any class time. And after the second year, can you guess what happened? Yeah, I advocated to create Forensic Science 3. Or officially known as Research in Forensic Science. This class allowed Isa, a small group of students, and me to dive deeper into long-term investigations. And some of my projects took months, but it was 100% worth it. I explored topics I never imagined tackling. Like that one project we did in the composition of organic matter? Don't remind me. Yeah. Issa suggested we used the flies as one of the variables, but then she decided it was too disgusting. So I had to go there and take the daily measurements every single day. I'm just a girl! <laughs> but the experiment was fire. I mean, we learned how different factors affect decomposition, which is critical for determining post-mortem time. It wasn't easy at first. We had to create everything from scratch. But by our third year, we already had a solid system in place. Coffee's ready, Ms. Coleman. Ms. Coleman, our amazing sponsor, helped us connect with professional institutions who share advice on forensic science careers. That's right. My dad is a retired criminalist from the Miami-Dade Forensic Services Bureau. So growing up, take your child to work day for me was at the crime lab. Because of his background, my dad contributed really great advice for us along the way. We also partnered with the Miami-Dade Sheriff's Office, their Homicide Cold Case Unit, and the FIU Forensic Science Program, and even federal agencies like Customs and Border Protection. And Marco, you didn't leave sugar on my counter, did you? Oops. And in our fourth year, we launched this YouTube channel to share everything we know with the world. And if you've been following along, you already know that piece of our story. For some of us, the channel is about much more than just forensics. The Forensic Science Club has given me the opportunity to pursue my passion for content creation and of course science. And that's why I'm a member now. The Braddock Forensic Science Club has given me the perfect platform to explore my passion for true crime without raising any suspicion. <laughs> Through my podcast, Braddock True Crime, I've been able to dive deeper into criminal investigations, applying forensic concepts, and discussing real life cases with a critical eye. And thankfully, no need for an alibi. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> the club's collaborative environment has not only expanded my knowledge of forensic science, but has also sharpened my storytelling and analytical skills. Because let's be real, nothing brings together people like a good mystery. Or really questionable Googling habits. <laughs> And after four years of hard work, Isa and I can finally sit down and enjoy retirement. We're just graduating high school. Stop being dramatic. <laughs> the point is that I've cherished every single second of working with this program. Expanding forensic science from a one-year elective to a four-year program has been an honor. And now we leave the legacy of our club to the next generation of officers who will continue our tradition of excellence, accuracy, and our love for science. Bye! Bye. Okay. Yeah. Thank you guys. <laughs>